Welcome to Parker at Baumar 2022. Now, one of the main themes here at the Parker booth is driving the energy evolution with a look at alternative fuels and hydrogen. And I'm delighted to have Steve Duraki here with me. He has spent 15 years exploring market trends in the transportation and construction industry and also developing those products for use with alternative fuels. Hi, Steve, lovely Hello. to have you here. Thank you, glad to be here. So one of the first things I'd like to ask you is what are the trends that you're seeing in your area? So I've really been focused on alternative fuels and that's really been battery electric vehicles, hydrogen and natural gas. Okay, thank you. And so what challenges are your customers facing with those products? So getting a reliable product that's gonna work at the same amount of time and length that their current product, which is typically diesel, right? Mm -hmm. So we're switching them in a lot of cases from a diesel to a gas, right? So. Uh, it's a little bit more challenging. Uh, natural gas, as well as hydrogen, are stored at a much higher pressure um, on board, and it's also a little bit smaller molecule. So you want to make sure you have the proper sealing installed in the system. Okay, so what are some of the highlights that Parker is showcasing sure, here at the let's, booth? Sure, let's start with, mm -hmm. so we've been really focused on natural gas probably for over 10 years, mm -hmm. and here's some of the products. So this is, happens to be our high-pressure CNG hose. This works to 5,000 PSI, and is great for uh, refueling CNG vehicles, as well as on vehicle, if you need to have a particular section of hose that you wanna have vibration dampened or prevent noise from happening, um, you'll wanna use a uh, type of hose like this. In addition, we have what we call the uh, FM80, which is a uh, pressure regulator. Mm -hmm. This is also for compressed natural gas, mm -hmm. and it'll take that 3,600 PSI gas that's stored on the vehicle down to about 20 PSI. Um, in addition, we have an integrated filter. It's extremely important to make sure that the gas has no contaminants, no oil, nothing that could clog up the injectors. So this integrated system is a great solution for a lot of our customers. Okay, what's the main problem that you're helping them solve with this solution here? Um, I think when it comes to compressed natural gas, because it's compressed, a lot of typical, the compressors are using oil. And a lot of times that oil can get into the natural gas. So being able to clean that oil uh, before it gets into the engine uh, saves a lot of problems and headaches down the road. Okay, so. thank you. Um, what have we got here? Okay, so as we transition from natural yeah. gas, now we're dealing more with hydrogen, right? That's kind of the new fuel, if you will. Mm -hmm. So we have a connection. This is called seal lock for hydrogen, also known as O-lock. And this amounts to a flat face seal uh, with a special elastomeric seal that contains hydrogen. Because hydrogen is such a small molecule, and we're talking pressures of up to 700 bar or 10,000 PSI, it's extremely important to have a seal that's gonna work, that will hold up over the life of the vehicle. Uh, a lot of uh, off-road and on-road vehicles deal with a lot of vibration. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of important to have this type of connection uh, mm -hmm. on your system. Uh, the other thing that's really great about this is because it's two flat surfaces, the connection method uh, creates a lot of torques. A lot of the OEMs prefer to have a torque assembly method when they're building their equipment. So, okay, thank you, here. Steve. So, Parker offers a solutions based approach, which we see here very well yes. in, in the innovations. What benefits do the customer have from that kind of approach? I, I think it gives the customers some comfort knowing that, you know, we can handle everything as far as the fluid conveyance, the fluid control, and any type of filtration needed. So we know the whole system. We can help the customer, I think, uh, the most. Okay, thank you for sharing your insight, Steve. One final question sure. for you. What is the sort of personal highlight here at Balma for you? I, I'm just really looking forward to seeing some of the clean technologies that are being deployed and helping some of those customers out with our solutions. Okay, all on the road to lowering carbon emissions, right? Yes, okay, bet. thanks Steve. So dear Parker enthusiasts, I hope you've enjoyed this closer look at driving the energy evolution. Stay tuned for the Parker highlights here at Balma 2022.